Now the purpose of our project is to create an affordable time-lapse camera system that I can use to film my garden and to be more precise to film 100 allium bulbs growing from the, when I planted them last November to full bloom this spring which will take about five months. And I have checked out time-lapse camera systems on the internet, but they really are quite expensive for a good one because I want to be able to monitor uh, my time-lapse as it progresses. So I decided to look at the Blink Security Actor system, which I've already bought and I've already been using. Uh, and it is one of the cheapest security camera systems that you can buy. And it also films in high definition, which, can, which is activated by a motion sensor at the front of the camera. Now, you can also use this Blink Outdoor system as a time-lapse camera straight out of the box, but unfortunately, it's not really up to standard because it will only take uh, low-resolution video snapshots every hour, and you can't change the interval either. So hence the reason for this project to modify this system, and I want to modify it so that it can take high-definition video snapshots from 30 minutes down to 10 minutes. This is my design concept and it's quite simple. It is to trigger a, the Blink camera to record high definition resolution video by moving an arm across the motion sensor at regular intervals, for example, 30 minutes. And here's my first prototype with one of my Blink cameras attached to my gadget. Will it trigger a motion activated video and send a notification to the Blink app? Let's find out. Yes, it has, motion detected. So it definitely works. So that's fantastic. And there's the video. This is the circuit board that I use for my gadget and it's a programmable timer relay module. But I did have some stability issues with this. Uh, it failed to work after so many hours and I think it's because it was draining my battery too much. So I switched to this uh, timer module which has exactly the same functions. It's programmable, but it uses your MOS chips which drain my batteries less. And also the, there is an option to have the LED display off, which also helps conserve my battery power. I ended up making four versions of this gadget until I got to the fourth version, which was the most simple and stable in all weather conditions. Right, this is, this is version four. I think this is about version four actually. And I've decided to have the lever and the solenoid attached to the camera so there's so it's the simplest design because the other one, after a few hours, it uh, it actually broke. Can you believe that? The super glue came undone. So this is the simplest design now. Here's a close up of the circuit and the lever that I built, which is basically a bit of plastic screwed onto the end of a 12 volt solenoid. And I'm testing it with a 10 second interval. And this is the circuit, this is the relay circuit, which I've now replaced with the more stable dual MOS circuit. Another thing you can see here is I've got two 9 volt batteries which are powering it directly and the solenoid load which is an 18 volt power supply for it which is a bit high for the solenoid but it's just so much more convenient just to use two 9 volt batteries than to get a proper 12 volt supply. But uh, please don't copy this if you're doing a project for your college or university because you'll probably get a grade F. I attached my device to all three of my cameras which were positioned around my garden in the right locations for my time lapse video. And here you can see the, the arm moving down in front of the lens and in front of the sensor. And on this snapshot of the Blink app from my smartphone, you can see all the motion activated videos which have been generated from my device on all three of my cameras, which is fantastic. I have to say though, it's not a perfect solution because depending on the light levels, my device doesn't always trigger a motion activated video. So I may do a version five of this gadget coming soon. Now there are two storage options for your Blink security footage. And there is the cloud service via Amazon and you get a free trial to start with, which I'm on now and I've been on it for about a month. And the other option is to store your footage locally via USB device. And you can see here, I've got my USB dongle plugged into the sync module. Now for my purposes of creating this time-lapse video using the local data storage is perfect for me because Blink will do a daily backup of all my video footage. And then at the end of the day, I can just 
eject the uh, USB device, plug it into my MacBook Air and copy and paste all the videos into my video editor timeline. As you can see, it's not the perfect solution to this problem. I'm sure a better solution would be to connect my timer circuit directly to the circuit board on the Blink camera. And if you've got any suggestions how to do that, please let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, please check out the full review of this Blink camera security system and my time-lapse video as well, here or here. And if you like this video, please thumbs it up and subscribe. And thanks for watching.